Okay, so I'm going to make a chicken madras pot curry today. Uh, it's going to yield for two or three, so you can double the recipe up. We're going to make it for more. I'm going to need a couple of chicken fillets, a hot curry powder, some mango chutney, white vinegar, some chili powder, an onion, a tin of chopped tomatoes, uh, some ginger could be dried, or could be that's a paste. It was ADP in Tesco. It's a got garlic and ginger paste. So you're going to need some ginger, some garlic. Uh, salt, pepper, and uh, optional coriander for garnish and flour. So we'll get crack on. Okay, so we'll start with the prep. We'll just uh, rough chop an onion. So just the usual top tail it. And take the skin off. Okay, so we're just going to rough chop it. So put four slices down the way. A little bit free across. Okay, and your chicken fillet is just going to trim any excess fat off them. I'm just going to cut it into chunks as well, so the biggest chunk, so take a wee tail there, that's one, that ends two, cut in half there, and two more cuts. Okay, so we're going to put a medium heat on the pan, number four or five, okay, and uh, you're going to take a tablespoonful of uh, vegetable oil, and a tablespoonful of butter. Okay, so we're just gonna let that melt. Spoonful of the garlic and ginger paste. I'm gonna do half a teaspoonful, or a teaspoonful, depends on how you want the curry, of a chili powder. Um, we're going to do two, two teaspoonfuls of hot curry powder. And just for a little bit of sweetness, we're going to do uh, one teaspoonful of mango chutney. So we just want to let the butter melt and then we'll add the chicken. Okay, so the butter's melted, it's starting to boil a little bit, so we'll just turn it down to number three. We're going to add in the chicken. I'm just going to combine the chicken into this here. And then we'll turn it back up again to number four. Okay, so this is just cooking away here at number four, just a medium sort of heat. Uh, chicken's starting to colour a little, so we're just going to add in the onions now. And while we're slowly cooking this here, I'm going to have a half a mug of uh, chicken stock made up. So we've got the kettle boiled. I'm going to add a chicken stock cube into this. And um, we'll just make up. Okay. Okay, so this stage is still on number four, the medium high heat. And the chicken's starting to cook now and the onions are starting to soften down. So we're gonna add a wee splash of white vinegar. A wee splash of it. And a teaspoonful of flour. I'm gonna stir this together, make a wee bit of a taste. And we're going to add the chicken stock mix. Just gonna stir that in. Okay, at this stage we're going to simmer this here for about five minutes. Then we'll add the tomatoes. Okay, so that's been simmering there for five minutes. We're going to have a wee couple of twists of black pepper in it now. And a wee bit of salt. And I'm going to add half a tin of these uh, chopped tomatoes. Gonna stir them for now. Okay, 
And again, just going to simmer this again for another uh, four or five minutes. That's coming up on uh, five minutes now with the tomatoes in. So at this stage here, we're just going to chop some uh, coriander. Now again, it's an optional. You don't have to. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. I'm going to turn this right down to number two and it's just going to simmer for another five minutes and that will be your uh, madras ready. If you go back for Mueller recipes, there's one for mini naan bread, it's with the chicken tikka rogan and there's ba onion bhaji recipe there as well. If you go back for Mueller recipes, there's a recipe for homemade chips you can serve it with rice but that's, uh, that's the chicken madras.